Hi, this is Angur Gupta and in this video I will be talking about creation, creating a report in iReports using a JDBC connection. Along with this I will be for, I will be showing some light upon uh, how does groups are made in the reports as well as how the variables are used in this uh, Jasper reports. So to start with let me open uh, iReports. So, here let me first create a connection I am using for uh, here I am using a JDBC connection which we can create a new data source now as we are using da database JDBC connection now, now let me name it as sample sqld okay. I am using mysql so I am selecting the driver as mysql com.jdbc driver my database name is my credentials you can test the connection it says connection test successful okay now we'll save this connection and close now we can see that sample sql db is selected as a data source now for folks who are using any other database except a jdbc for jdbc connection like sybase or anything they need to set the jar file or the driver for the jdbc in the root of this i reports uh, you can find this i report for whatever version you are using then you could go to i report and libs here you could play place the jar file of the driver here okay after that you could go to this options tools options to the class path and here again you could add that jar file which we have uh, put there in the library directory and then ok and uh, the same process for adding the database just that the driver will now show there ok let me create a new new report let me name it SQL. So here the report is created. Uh, I have talked about the bands and the whole structure of the report in my previous video. If you haven't seen then please see for references. So here I am starting with. Let me go to this palette. Here I will drag this static text. Let me give some title. Let me see report. Let me just center line it bold and that's it. You can increase the size a bit so that it's visible. Okay. So in page header, let me just put something like text, like a sample, kind of which appears into the every every single page in the report let me right align it to align the margin now let me put in the sql query for the values which i want so select person switch my database so here you could see all these fields are there you can just go now now the fields which were shown there are now available in the fields root. So let me just get name, age, gender and profession. Okay. This 
this is a feature of an of airport it automatically places the labels for whatever fields you have dragged in in the detail section let me do it a bold if it's so visible it's visible okay let me just preview it okay so this is how the report looks like for now now suppose you want to uh, you want to place a group on the country specifically or countries yes so simply i could do a right click on this node and add report group so group name would be the country um, simply we could like put this country if you know in the group of the following group. okay we just need we could add the uh, group header and footer so let me just add both of them okay so this is the country group header let me just show here the countries okay i just want the field value so let me just make it bold size larger and let me find a uh, background to it so it looks a bit different from others so i could select this back color from here let me just see green okay in the footer what i want is like i want to calculate the total of age so for doing this let me just create a variable variable one let me see the properties of this I'm renaming the variable to total h. Okay. It's a type of integer, so let me just change it to integer. It's doing like you can do several calculations over here. So basically, I am using this sum. Reset type will be group because we need it for every group. We could if we do it for report, then it will refresh for report, so it won't be giving the Correct value. So do it. Let me do it for group. Reset reset group is country. And the variable expression would be the age because you want to calculate the sum of age. Okay. So now we could place it in the footer pad, which changes for each and every group. Let me just put a small label so that we know it what what we are placing here. so this is total age okay do and okay now let me just view this okay see for india there is a see you see here okay now we could like order it uh, like to get it from the names in or ordering by names so we could order it by country now it looks more pretty see because ordering by africa or the country is now putting them by countries and then it is just uh, putting the fields accordingly so here you could see the values over here and the total is coming down here for each and every group so so this is pretty easy and like you could do lots of thing the same thing you could see the sample coming in the top for both the pages as it's a page header this is the page title and this is the group band this africa which you could see or america or india is the group header in the group fet footer we have placed the total of this age so we could see the sum of all the ages of the people in country africa same for america and india now let me 
place in pie chart so we don't need a column footer so minimize it we don't need a page footer in the summary event all the all the uh, these charts and everything could be uh, would be like uh, the summary of the report basically so that all the values are calculated and we could use it for using a data for using a pie chart we need to create a data set data set set means an a sub data set basically in the report which is exclusively for, for the pie chart let me just create a data set called pie data set okay let me for now just create an empty data set now from the palette i will drag a chart in the summary section let me just put this pie chart now it gives me options for using a main report data set or the sub data set which i have created okay i am using this pie data set okay i will specify it for later i will cancel as we haven't defined the pie data set yet so we'll edit the query now we will put here uh, the chart which i will create is basically on the basis of the profession and number of people into that profession like for example doctors are 10 and and the engineers are 5 and so on let me just put the query in here so it will be we need to select distinct professions as as we need uh, separate only the rep, not the repetitions so we are just eradicating those repetitions and we need the count of them so we will count it the table again persons and let me just group it by profession okay. so you could see here this profession and count are coming in the field names we could easily see the data as in what we are getting from the query without opening that SQL query or something you could just refresh the preview data and you could see like CA gets 3 count, doctor gets 6 count, engineer 7 and painter 4. So isn't it easy getting this value? So let me just put it into this chart data. Okay. Now data set run. This is where we need to specify this one to use pi data set. Okay. Now in the detail section, what we need to do, this is the key expression what you want to see in the expression like for now we want to you see that professions basically the professions like ca doctor in the key basically in the bottom the value expression means for each of the slices of the pie data set we need to define some value or the size of the slice so for that i am using the count for each of the profession in the label i want again to see this count so as it is a label expression which accepts string only so we'll just need to cast into string okay let me just increase the size of this bit so that it's more visible and readable okay i'm previewing it now this is how the chart looks like here you could see the red color signifies ca and ca are total in three Sim similarly for doctors it's six engineer it's seven painters it's four so see it's how easy it is to 
just define the values in the chart and it will just Jasper will create this chart for you. So like this you could easily create some other charts like when you drag chart chart from the palette it shows you various options like line chart, pie chart, scatter chart lots more x y area chart scatter chart several charts so you could just choose it from here and just define it so this is it for this video I will again come uh, again in the next video with the other charts like line chart or scatter chart or you could just keep put in the comments which chart you want to be demonstrated for and I will definitely make a video for that in the next video I will be telling about other what are the various other options which could be used in this as a data source like the excel sheet or the csv or the java beans or connectivity with java basically I will be focusing more upon these data sources for this report so thank you that's it for this video you could Follow me on Twitter. Uh, my Twitter handle is Uncle underscore AUG. My even same follow on my, the Facebook as well as you could visit my blogspot. That's uncle.techie.blogspot.in and you will definitely get to know more about this Jasper reports. Thank you so much for watching.